If you're wondering how maximum intensity projections and average imaging is performed in radiology, you've come to the right place. This is Brian, Bryce, and Luca from How Radiology Works. Today we're going to be using marshmallows to talk about how to make average images and how to make MIP images in radiology imaging. Starting now. We're going to use these marshmallows to indicate the voxel values. So inside of a medical image, every voxel has an intensity. So typically we'll have whiter means higher and darker means lower. But in this case, we have a four by four image and they're each represented by how many marshmallows tall we have inside of that given voxel. And what we're going to do here is we're going to look along each direction. And first we're going to show you what the average intensity is. That's something we often like to do because it reduces noise in our images. So if we take an average, if we go an average along this direction, the average of four divided by four is just one. Thanks, Bryce. Then here, we take an average along this direction. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Luckily, we have some half marshmallows here. So the average is just one and a half if we go along this direction. Again, the same thing here. We have six marshmallows along this direction. So again, one and a half along here. And then finally, if we look along here, we have 10 marshmallows now along this direction. So the average now is two and a half. So the average operation is something we like to do if we have a 3D volume and we want to view just 2D of it. We like to do the average operation because it reduces noise in the images. We're showing you here going from 2D to 1D. But if you think of this image plane, you can imagine stacking them up and have many image planes and then doing those projections. If you're new to this channel, make sure and hit subscribe down below and then click on the little bell icon so you can get notified when we release new videos. Next, we'll show you about the MIP operation. So for the MIP operation, we're going to be looking at, instead of the average, we're going to be looking at, it's called the maximum intensity projection. So the maximum along this row, which is basically saying, what's the tallest value along that row of marshmallows? So for this case, we have just one is the highest value. Then for this case, the highest value is two. And for this case, the highest value is also two. And then for this last row, <laughs> the highest value is three. So the difference is you'll notice when we did the average, they all counted equally. We gave them all the same weight. In this case, the MIP operation, there's one set of marshmallows, whichever one's the tallest that gets all of the weight. So this one, whoops, this MIP operation <laughs> is good to highlight things that are bright and where there's not very many of them, such as vessels in uh, contrast enhanced imaging. And the average operation is good for things where you have noise in your image and you'd like to reduce that noise. Thanks again. This has been Bryce for How Radiology Works. I'm Brian for How Radiology Works. And this is Luca from How <laughs> And then it's good to see you. See you next time. And so, check out our video on photoelectric and Compton interactions, as that's how all of x ray imaging is based on the attenuation, which is due to photoelectric and Compton.